Matthew 11:28 says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11:28. When we are heavy laden, when we are feeling oppressed or down or discouraged or we're anxious about life, we can come to Christ and find a renewal of both peace and tranquility. And when we're born again, have believed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repented of our sins, God is always there for us. He is not against us. And if God is for us, who can be against us? And during the most difficult times and seasons of life, we can give over our burdens to Christ, knowing that he truly cares for us. The scriptures declare, cast your anxieties upon Christ, for he cares for you. And currently, um, at the beginning of this year, in the last month and a half, it has been rocky for me, and I am learning this more and more each day. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, grandfather passed away. I recently went through an abrupt breakup that neither her or I saw was going to happen. Um, and a few other things have occurred in my life. And right now, the Lord is just teaching me to go to Him uh, with the concerns, with the uh, anxiety, with the fear, with the discouragement, and spend time in His Word. And the more that I have done this during this very difficult season right now, the more at peace I am, the more I am growing in the Lord, not only from a standpoint of knowing Him more, but from an experiential standpoint. Because when we take time to spend time with God and we're busy and productive in our time with Him, other things around us will begin to fade away, maybe not instantaneously, but at least momentarily. When we spend time with God, all other things seem to vanish to some extent. And that is what I am learning, is to not dwell in the discouragement or uh, the disappointment, but to really press in um, to God. And during those times, by staying productive throughout each day, of course, we need to go to work. Of course, we need to accomplish the tasks that are for us um, and, and the labor in which God has called us to. But in our free time, it is important that we don't stay in, in where we are in fear and anxiety and sulk, but rather we spend time with God. And the times that I have done that are the times that I have been distracted recently from the current events of what has recently happened. Again, it's been a very difficult season right now, and I don't quite understand the why behind everything and why uh, everything had to occur. Uh, you know, the, as the old saying goes, things come in threes. And, um, <clears throat> and the third thing I haven't even touched on, but it has just been a very rough month and a half. But in all of this, uh, our faith is not a feeling. It's an endurance in the truth. And sometimes God has to take everything away in order to bring about a change in trajectory for our lives and in order to propel us into his best. Because we know that good is the enemy of best. And sometimes uh, our willingness to stay in the good will defeat God's want of us giving us uh, of giving us his best for our lives. And so if we're feeling uh, down or discouraged or heavy laden, or we are just in angst about the future and what has happened, what we've lost, uh, may we just take heart and have hope. Because we know that uh, those of us who have the faith and when we endure, endurance brings character and character brings about hope and we can have hope and assurance in God because the Holy Spirit dwells within us and we know that God has a purpose and a plan for us and he desires to bless us. It doesn't mean we're going to live a perfect life, but it does mean that in anything and everything there is meaning and purpose as God continues to direct our steps and guide us towards higher ground. So may we not be anxious about anything and may we come to Christ, us who are heavy laden and have been laboring and are even unsure with why things are the way they are. May we trust in him, take it one day at a time, moment by moment, knowing that we don't have to worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Sufficient is the day of its own troubles, and thank the Lord that we don't have to do that by ourselves, but that he is with us even to the end of the age.